Hey guys, I'm Alana from IGN and I'm here with one of the creative directors on Unspoken from Insomniac Games. Now, tell me about this really interesting concept. Thanks. Well, The Unspoken is uh, based on a fantasy of magic uh, in the real world, and it's all about PvP spellcasting with a touch controller. So we're out to give players an experience of really using their bare hands to manipulate real magic. So uh, I just played this, and I was a little bit worried that it was going to feel awkward because you are flailing your hands around, but it totally doesn't. And I'm, I really wonder how hard was it to get that to feel precise and to not feel like you're just wildly flailing. You actually do feel like you know, you're selecting spells and casting them yourself. Well, um, a couple of the types of things that we talk about a lot are first, really intuitive gestures. So, you know, natural throws, things like uh, grabbing and pointing are all things that we can do with a lot of precision with the touch controllers. Um, at the same time, we give you object spells, like artifacts that sort of suggest what they could possibly do just by looking at them and understanding what the real world analog to that object is. So, for example, we give you a piece of paper. You know, it floats above your hand and you can fold it into this like impossibly elaborate airplane that you can throw at your opponent. We're, we're always trying to give you a, like a little surprise and sense of discovery with all of the spells that you can cast. So a lot of the stuff that's in the game is really creative, including, you know, that, that plane. Uh, but my favorite was probably the fireball because of the precision. But then I compared it to there's one where you like have a hammer and you create this kind of spear that you throw. And I could never quite get that right. How do you make something vary in, in precision? Like, is it... I just don't understand how they feel so different. Uh, well, so it really is the model that we're looking at for each individual spell. So sometimes, like with the fireball, it's about a natural throw motion. We're looking at your hand direct, uh, your hand trajectory and the, the speed of your throw and where you're looking. Uh, for a spell that's like that javelin, we're looking at timing. Um, you can get good at it and cast it really quickly, but it also can take a long time to build it up into something that's powerful. And it's kind of that trade-off as a player. Like, do I want to reach for the fast fireball or, or do I want to spend the time and build this really powerful javelin? While you're building it, you're vulnerable to the other player, so that's the kind of risk that you always take when you're casting spells. Yeah, the last thing I wanted to mention is actually tonally. I feel like this game is kind of dark. It feels really gritty. It totally feels like you are standing in a street in Chicago, you said, basically just dueling it out with this other wizard that you have no idea what they're going to do. So where are you planning to evolve from the point that it is? Like, are we going to add more creative spells? Are we going to add more environments? Like, are they going to end up being maybe more than just 1v1? Well, um, like all, all of that, are, you know, those are all things we're looking at. Um, more environments, absolutely. Um, we're going to have a very long list of spells for you to tap into. Um, and we're really interested in uh, exploring this urban magic take on uh, Chicago specifically. Um, in the backstory of our world, um, the 1893 World's Fair has a lot of significance. And uh, for many visitors, it was the first time they had experienced electric lights. Uh, it was the first time they'd seen moving pictures. And they came away saying that it felt like real magic. And uh, in our timeline, it turns out that it really was. And the fallout from that irresponsible display is kind of influencing events in Chicago ever since. Yeah, and I think that really shows throughout the whole game. So uh, when can we expect it? Uh, so this is coming in uh, holiday 2016 and that's the unspoken it's exclusive to the oculus touch and the oculus store awesome thank you so much thank you. i'm alana for more on oculus drift stay right here on ign